This tutorial is about how to color grade your images in Photoshop and we're going to be using so many tools in Photoshop and you yeah, are stay tuned as we color grade this image and this image was taken by a photographer is called Milo Shorts and yeah, I'm going to put his link down in the description so that you guys can follow him on his, Insta on his Instagram so I'm talking really really fast so let me slow down so what we are going to do for this image and if I can go ahead I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography and we're going to be color grading this image so let's kick in and start color grading and if at all you're watching and haven't subscribed this channel don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you do subscribe this channel and if at all you love this video don't forget to give us a feedback in the comment section and hit the like button if at all you love this video so let's kick in and start uh, color grading this image to get those amazing warm skin tones in photoshop as you can see this image has already been Retouch and I use frequency separation and for those who would like to know more about my frequency separation I'm going to put the link right above here and you can follow along how I do retouch my images using frequency separation so come right down here and uh, click on selective color then I'm going to add science to my red channel you can see that and I'm going to add yellows to uh, my red channel still you can see the image looks too warm now i'm going to go back a little bit and i'm going to add a little bit of blacks to uh, my red channel i think this really re is really okay then i'm going to come right down here and i'm going to select gradient maps what we are going to do we are going to select a color that is close to the skin tones you can see no one looks like this in real life so we are going to click on this color right let me cancel we are going to click on this color right here and when you click on it it will bring these various swatches uh, make sure you look for one that is close to uh, skin tones and if at all you don't have we are going to use this and if at all you don't have this swatch right here click on the gear like icon and look for photographic toning click ok and uh, maybe you can click up and you'll get this right here and it is called I prefer using sapia antique. So this is what you're going to be using uh, Click ok Yeah, and after you have clicked ok, uh, we what we are going to do. We are going to blend uh, our Color from the gradient map so that uh, it is not too much and still uh, reveals this uh, the color of the clothes uh, while also revealing our highlights and midtones in this image so that is basically what we are going to do i'm going to close this right here and i'm going to come to the blending option and i'm going to click on multiply so when you click on multiply the image is going to be dark so dark so today i'm sorry my pc is kind of misbehaving that's why everything is acting to be slow so this is how the image will turn after you have turned your multiply blending option on so come to the opacity and uh, knock it down yeah like that you can see now the before after before after so after this what we are going to do we are going to come to our camera row and we are going to do a little bit of more color grading of this image so we are going to create a stamp visible layer on top of our what we have done uh, by clicking shift alt ctrl e on the keyboard to create uh, to merge all we have done and put it uh, in a single layer so what we are going to do we are going to come to our camera raw filter in photoshop and we are going to do a little bit of more color grading of this portrait so we are going to duplicate this layer still by clicking ctrl j on the keyboard come right here to filter then look for camera raw filter and guys if at all you are loving this video don't forget to hit the like button and uh, drop a comment the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that i can get motivated and keep on dropping content for you guys and yeah i'm doing more of the talking because i'm just waiting for my camera raw filter to respond and here we are right now in camera raw 
uh, we are going to come to right here to camera calibration and we are going to play around with these uh, little sliders so you can see when I pull this uh, my red slider to towards the negative it adds magenta to the image and when I put it this side it adds greens to the image so we are going to go in for a little bit more of the magenta you can see and we are going to come to the green primary and you can see its effect i just want to show you guys its effect so we are going to come and uh put it at negative edge and you're going to come to the blue primary you can see what it does it uh towards the negative it adds magenta and towards uh, this side adds green so we are going to add a little bit of more magenta to this image so this is fine so we are going to come right to our basic panel and we are going to uh, warm this portrait a little bit more i think that is fine and we can add a little bit of contrast to this image so we can go in for a contrast i think seven is going to do for this image and uh, we're going to click okay and as this loads and yeah i think we uh, it is done loading so i think this is all i did for color grading this image and you can see uh how the image is really really looking awesome so what i want to do i want to uh, group each and everything we have done i want to put everything uh we did when we were uh color grading this image so that i can show you guys uh, the before and the after for uh, the overall image so let me group select the upper layer and this very first layer ctrl g to group everything so you can see this is the image before after before after you can see the difference and yeah guys if i told you love this video don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed and you have watched this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. When you do subscribe and yeah, this image was taken by my lot shots. I'm going to put his link in the description. And guys, thank you so much for supporting this channel. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. See you in yet another tutorial on this channel.